Look, what's going on, my nigga? What up? What up? What's up with it, man? Shit, man. You know, it's been a while, man. What you got coming, man? I got a whole lot of shit coming, man. I, I got a whole lot of shit coming. I got a, I, I got a new visual coming. I'm gonna drop a, a single called Gravity. Right. Video crazy. Right. Uh, that's coming. That's coming real. That's probably next thing coming. Um, after that, I got another. Vi I got another visual coming. I got. Feature, I got features. Oh, you, you, know, you definitely try to fuck about, bye, bye. Man, I got a whole bunch of shit coming. Er all everybody that's around here that's on something, I'm working with them. Right, right. For got sure, music for sure. coming with them, <clears throat> plus my own stuff. For sure. But uh, you gotta let the streets know, man. How, how you get the name Lucky, man? Where that come from? Uh, <laughs> the streets gave me that name for real, for real. After uh, uh. I got in a, a bad wreck um, after a party, a long time ago after a party at, at Chrome, when Chrome, when Chrome was back busting, I got, I got in a bad wreck after Chrome, and uh, like shit, I was in a coma for three months, uh, man, man, fucked up, I was fucked up, man, and shit, after I got out the hospital, I like, came back, like, I, my body healed up, everything just happened like super quick and so Damn. just the fact that I survived the wreck and then how fast I healed it, motherfuckers started calling me lucky. <clears throat> Damn, that's what's up, man. I feel you. Yep. I like, you, okay. got, you got any mixtapes or anything, albums that you working on? Uh, man, I, I had I mixtape. I was going to do a mixtape, but I'm constantly, like, I constantly write. Like, I write every day. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always coming up with new shit. And so, I'll be in, like, situations where I have, like, <clears throat> my shit set up. But I'm constantly writing. So, then I'm like, damn, I'm going to take this. You know, I'm going to put this on there. You know, because that might, might relate more with the time or whatever. Like, I might want to take a song off or something. So, right now, I just said, you know, forget the tape project route. And I'm just going to start dropping all my songs just, like, basically as singles. Mm -hmm. And try to get a buzz. You see what, you know what I'm saying? Right, Once right. I get a buzz going, then I, you know, may, may go back to a tape. Right now, I'm just trying to get the buzz and a right, legit right, buzz right. with like, a little fan base going. Your fan and, base popping and shit like that. Be you know? consistent. Right, right, definitely. Now, uh, I know you used to fuck with uh, eyes. What happened? Yeah. What happened with y'all? I don't see y'all. I don't see y'all together like y'all used to. Uh, well, uh, really, it was, uh, I was trying, I was actually trying to, uh, like, be in AMG and shit. I was actually, label, right? yeah, Black right. Hood, I was actually trying to be in it and shit, and, um, uh, I just felt like they couldn't keep up with me, for real, honestly. Um, uh, like, cause I was, I, I'm, I was at that time, directly at that time, when I first linked up with bruh, like, I was ready to go, like, I was, like, Constantly ready to shoot. <coughs> right. <clears throat> Constantly, you know what I'm saying? I was just ready to go, and I just think they couldn't keep up with me. Was he like plugging you on the videos and shit like that? Oh yeah, cause I was, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was like a part of the label, so. Right, right, right. So they showed me love. Yeah. They definitely showed love. And you say they can't still, like, I still right? fuck with them, but as far as like being in the, being it with the with them, like being in AMG, I just think I. I just think I'm too, I can't, they can't keep up. I just think it's too much, I got too much going on. I got too much that I'm, that I'm about to, that y'all gonna see. <laughs> it's about to, I feel, I feel. it's about to, I'm finally in a position where I can finally, once, once I start, once I start up this time, yeah. it's not gonna, it's not gonna be no pauses, no more breaks in between, all that shit. It's, it's about to go. Right, right, right. And you know it's it's been a lot of it's been a lot of talk on Facebook and shit about you know who the hottest rapper and who this who that out of your out of your top five in Springfield, like who you like fuck with the most like coming up. My top five from the field niggas who I fuck with, in no particular order. It's uh, Trash Bag and J now. With Neil again. Uh, less. That's three. Uh, Thereo. 
gotta have, you gotta fuck with folk. I'm like, and, uh, and, um, uh, um, uh, the big homie Jizzle. Jizzle, okay, okay. For sure, for sure. Them, nah, them mm -hmm. all, this is a nice that's, category too. Yeah, them all, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of cold rappers out there in the field, though. It is, that's what I said. That is a lot of people that go nuts, but that's just my top five who I think go the hardest. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going, putting in work and you know saying? going crazy. New niggas that just started, niggas who've been doing it. And out of like the, like the older no rappers, order. like the older rappers, like who you fuck with, like growing up, who you was fucking with back in the days, like the. The older artists that used to be out here in the field pushing that shit, like. Well, shit. The only the, shit. The, the only uh, for real, for real. I I wasn't really hit on nobody shit except for uh like Family Mob now. Mm -hmm. Them the only you know what I'm saying people out, like around war shit. I guess just where I was around and who I was hanging with. Them the only local people I thought was making music shit. Mm -hmm. And General, General was making music when we was growing up. He was making, he was making music when we were shorties. My mom was going crazy. Mm -hmm. Like so, yeah, like them, Family Mob and them niggas. Them shit. It was the only niggas in my life. I ain't even heard. I ain't hear nobody else like. But now, you know, now that I'm in the scene more, and you know what I'm saying, I've heard the niggas and peep they shit, check they shit out. But growing up, it was just them. Yeah, right, right, right. Where did you grow up at? Uh, I was, uh, I grew up, I actually grew up here in Springfield, Illinois, majority, okay. majority of Springfield, Illinois, yep, right here, That's right here in Springfield. <laughs> have you ever, like, performed, have you ever did any shows out here in Springfield? Uh, I've done a few shows, I've only, I've done, I've done, like, Three or four shows, and um, it wasn't nothing too big. The first, my first couple shows was at the uh, when they had they used to have bar none downtown, like open mic night, that type shit. Um, they was trash because I, <laughs> I was nervous than a motherfucker. But like, uh, but now and then I performed at the Black Sheep one time with Aaron and them. Uh -huh. That's something they had going on. Uh, I performed at some eyes had going on, I believe, at the Bourbon Street. So, you know, I think, so. It's what you think of the hip-hop scene in Springfield? Um, that's why it's, that's why it's hard to be into a lot of these niggas' music because I think, like, this city as a whole, uh, motherfuckers afraid to be themselves, so it's mm -hmm. it's like it's hard. Like so, it, to me, when I listen to a lot of people's shit, it's like oh, they trying to sound like they from Chicago, or they want to sound like they from Atlanta, or they you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> or it's, it's like it's even niggas I used to, that I paid attention to. Like first they were sounding like that from the A, but now the Chicago shit busting, <laughs> so now they whole style. <laughs> So, so that's just, no, like just, I don't know. So that's why I like everybody, everybody who they, who I feel like really being them, I, I fuck with their music. Everybody who I feel like is really them, I fuck with their music. That's what's up. Now, I don't, now, it's, a, now it's, a, it's some rappers that's doing their thing though, but, mm -hmm. but who you think like, who on, who on the radar? Who on the radar right now? Like that's been putting in real work, you know what I'm saying? Investing, whoop de whoop, yeah. Like who putting in uh, the most work? Who you uh, see? Man, Trash Bag been going crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Trash Bag going crazy. Uh, and they, Hannah and Jay, all the, you know, they whole camp been going crazy. Mm -hmm. Motherfucking uh, I can I see you can Mario been going crazy. Yeah, you gotta shout out Mario. Cannon been going crazy. Whitney always going crazy, consistently going crazy. Uh, uh, recently, Lil, Lil Rody been going crazy. Rody, too. Be, Rody was going crazy. Lil Rody been going crazy. And like, uh, uh, and then most recently, recently, shit. Shout out T J Bird. T J Bird been 
dropping crazy. Uh, like every day, it seemed like this nigga putting out shit. What he dropping? What he like dropping? He dropped like a, a songs. Uh, he dropped like a mixtape on SoundCloud, I think. It, that nigga going nuts. Visuals, videos. He dropped two videos, I think. I'm just trying to push the envelope, that, and that's what I like. Somebody gonna get some spotlight on the city, and then it's, that's, that's when all, that's when that's when all it's, my and I, that's, when it's, that's when all the real talent gone.